Hallelujah. How many of you glad you got life in Jesus? Amen, man. God's kingdom. Bible-believing believers don't build their lives based upon political pressure. We don't build our lives built upon peer pressure. And we certainly don't change our distinctives because of social media. The Lord has given me a strong warning, Isaiah said. Not to think like everyone else does. Don't call everything a conspiracy like they do. And don't live in dread of what frightens them. Make the Lord of heaven's armies holy in your life. He is the one you should fear. He is the one who should make you tremble. But he will keep you safe. Praise God. That is the promise of God. I'm not afraid of anything in this world. I'm certainly not afraid of some damn flu. And I use that word biblically. I am not going to stop the work of the Lord for some bacteria or virus. I'm not going to be an idiot. I'm going to be courteous. I'm going to do my best to be gracious. But I am not going to stop building the church for some demonic virus or some demonic mandate. I I am on a mission for the Lord Jesus Christ. Is that too honest, Pastor? Jesus said, I'll build my church. That's my mandate. I'm not playing games. Many of you that know my ministry know that nobody's going to stop me. If it means I have to go to prison, I'll go to prison. If it means they put me on a firing squad, I'll be on a firing squad preaching to the last person loading their weapon. I am on a holy mission, and holy men don't take orders from unholy men. Number one, if you're taking notes... The title of this message is God's Unstoppable Church. 